Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here, and it's time for another monthly update, and what a month it has been. So, unless you were sleeping under a rock, or just weren't watching any of my videos, which how could you, but unless you were sleeping under a rock, you'll know that quite a lot has changed with respect to my animals this month, and I've uploaded a lot of videos, a lot more than I usually do, so it's been a lot of fun for me, I actually really enjoy making these videos, so I've had some free time make these videos and the whole month has passed already so let's stop talking though let's get right to the animals right over here we still have my betta fish aquarium and the little uh, marina easy care aquarium which honestly I'm taking down I just haven't gotten around to it yet so we can ignore that but we can look at the betta aquarium so right here is my uh, Beta, whose name I forgot because I did not choose the name, still has the same plants in there, the same uh, amano shrimp. One of the Nubius uh, became un unrooted, so it's just floating there, but honestly it's such a pain to get that stuck back in the gravel, so I think I'm just going to let it float there for a while. Beta fish like having a resting space close to the surface of the water anyway, so it's all good for the fish. As you can see over here, if you've watched my uh, red cherry shrimp videos, I also added one of the Indian almond leaves to the beta tank just because apparently it's uh, also good for beta fish because it has antibacterial properties. So I was like, you know what, why not? Might as well add one for the little guy. Spork? Was it Spork? I don't think it, I think that it might have been Spork. I don't really remember to be honest. In the aquarium I also still have my four mano shrimp three of them you can see over here. They've been loving the zucchini I've been throwing in there recently. So they're all doing well. They're just grazing on some algae on the little hide right there, which the beta occasionally uses. I also have two assassin snails in there somewhere, but they're burrowed underneath the gravel, so I have no clue where they went. But that is it for the beta. Aquarium's still looking good. We have a little bit of algae buildup on the leaves of the Anubius, but not anything I really need to worry about. So let's move on to the red cherry shrimp. The red cherry shrimp finally, finally got a nice aquarium to themselves. So that's the probably one of the biggest changes last month is that they finally got this nice big five gallon aquarium. Um, if you didn't watch my video on how I set up this aquarium, I'll give you a quick rundown. The substrate is uh, fluval stratum, which is a substrate made out of volcanic um, rocks. So the substrate's very light and it also lowers the pH which the shrimp enjoy and it's good for plant growth so that's why I chose it. I have uh, four marimo moss balls in there, they're just on the right hand side over here just spread out through the aquarium. I have uh, two sort plants which are doing really well and the light I'm using is the PCL 13 from Fluval I think. The uh, reason I picked that light is because I've had good experiences with it in the past and I got on a super special deal at the pet store because they were running out. I've also added two of these uh, rabbit snails. One of them is right here. So this is the orange rabbit snail that I've added to the um, enclosure. They're still very small. So here you can see them from the side. Not very big at all. And then back here is the second one. This one is um, brown with yellow spots on them. So hopefully I have a male and a female. I read up a little bit on their breeding. and. Um, they have they, they they are not able to change genders and they're stuck with their gender so maybe I'll have a male and female if not it's not that big of a deal either right now the cherry shrimp are just enjoying a piece of zucchini that I dropped in there that unfortunately fell in the leaves of the plant here so it's kinda hard to see but there's a couple of them on there they really like uh, their zucchini and so do the snails so it's really it's, it's good food for the whole aquarium and it's pretty easy to prepare as well. I have not had any uh, buried females yet, unfortunately, but hopefully they'll come soon. I have some nice females in there. I think this might be one of them. Oh, yeah, this could be one of them right here. So um, hopefully they'll be buried soon in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my cherry shrimp aquarium. Let's move on to the axolotl. Of course, I can't forget about Ali right over here. This is my border collie mix I think. She's of course also part of the household and always nice and in the way when I try to leave my room. So this is another big change that happened I think this month is that I got Mudkip a um, nice big new aquarium. So this is a 29 gallon aquarium and um, Mudkip has grown quite a lot as you can see. He's right over here um, hiding 
by his clay flower pot, which I chose as, as uh, hides. There's two of those hides in there, and in the back I'm running a pretty large sponge filter for filtration. So this is a lot of bigger than the sponge filter that was previously in the small aquarium that he had before. It's uh, powered by a Marina 75 air pump, which is a little bit on the small side, but so far it's doing a fairly decent job, I think. Have some guppies in there in case he ever gets hungry, but so far he's left them alone because he's been pretty well fed. Now, when I say he, I of course mean he or she because I don't actually know if Mudkip is male or female. Um, I'm just going to assume he for now. So he's doing quite well, as you can see right here, hiding behind his flower pot. Has quite a bit of weight on him, which is nice, and he's eating pellets regularly. So the pellets that I feed him are the Omega-1 shrimp pellets right here. He does not have a problem eating them at all, and they're really high quality food, and there's quite a lot of pellets in there. So <laughs> he's like, what, food time? No, not quite yet, buddy. But that's it for Mudkip's Aquarium, so now let's move on to Patilla and Shinigami. So let's grab Patilla first because she is easier to weigh. As you can see, she just had breakfast, making a nice big meth of her cage, and uh, she's threatening me again because that's what she likes to do. So good thing I'm the bigger human here, and I'll just grab her. Now, if you watched my video from two days ago, she was 1,140 grams, 1,148, so she's now 1,159 grams. Looks like she has gained some weight from all her food. So as you can see, that's a little bit of a weight increase from last month. Now Shinigami over here recently refused another meal, so this month she again didn't eat, but she shed and she went through her shed and her skin's still not pulling, and let's see if she's lost any weight. If she hasn't, or has only lost a little bit, I'm not really worried. Let's take a look. So she's now down 100 grams from last month. I'm gonna give her one more month. One more month is a chance to uh, eat some food, and if nothing happens there, we're gonna have a, bit, a visit to the vet. Now that concludes the animal section of this monthly update. Now it's time for the, the me section. So what's what's new with me? Well, honestly, not that much. I've been recording a lot of videos this month. As you know, it's because it's uh, the exam season of the summer courses. So right now I actually don't have any school. Don't have that many hours at work. I only really work weekends. So that leaves me with all these weekdays to kind of uh, figure out what I want to do. I'm moving in September, so I'm actually going to uh, look at a house, uh, sorry, an apartment later on today, one bedroom apartment, um, because I'm going to be living without roommates, so that's going to be pretty exciting, I've been saving up some money for that, but that's pretty much everything that's new with me. Work's going same, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I also booked some tickets to fly to Germany this winter, which is pretty exciting, going with the girlfriend, I don't know if I told you guys about that before. But that's the other big, big thing. Flying this winter, haven't seen my family there for one year at this point. It will be one and a half years in the winter. Um, just trying to figure out what all, all my pets are gonna be doing while I'm in Germany for two weeks. But that's pretty exciting too. So next month, honestly, I don't think I'll be uploading as many videos just because school's gonna be starting up again. So I'll be more busy with work for that. I'm gonna try to keep up this, like right now I've been doing a video every second day, which honestly is crazy for me. But I'm going to be trying to at least do a video a week just to give you guys something to look forward to. Um, I'm going to try. Can't promise anything. But thank you for watching, as always. If you would like to see these upcoming videos, please subscribe, like this video, write a comment, anything like that would help. Um, yeah, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.